time's the charm. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Fulton Street Collective. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're coming to you live from the Fulton Street Collective located in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Tonight, we are proud to present the Chad McCullough Group performing the music of Herb Albert. It is Herb Albert's 86th birthday coming up, so we thought we'd put together a celebration. And I can't... Uh, Stress enough the, uh, the importance and how proud we are to team up with WDCB 90.9 FM. Let's give it up for WDCB. <laughs> this is really the brainchild of our visual artist, Louis Ackenbach, who is in the lower left hand side of your screen. He'll be painting the band as they perform, and what's really cool is you can buy his artwork. How do you do that? On the lower right-hand side of your screen, that is the virtual tip jar. That's how you take care of the band. Uh, that's how you donate to Fulton Street Collective. That's how you buy, buy some artwork. As you can tell, this is a very large group tonight. So please be generous and kind, support the band, support the artist, be cool, kind, and support the arts. All right, that's it. Let's start the show. Let's get it for Chad McCullough Group.
Thank you very much for tuning in, for tuning in uh, in person. We have a, a small crowd in here and a large crowd at home. Um, but you, I, I mean, you, you, might, you might be small at home, but, I, you know, large in numbers and spirit. Uh, <laughs> thank you. The, uh, this, this is a really fun night for us. Um, these are a lot of Herb Alpert tunes that I have known for years, that I have heard for years in all kinds of different situations. And so it's really fun to actually get to play them and uh, to get to play them with this amazing band. So I feel like a, uh, like a little kid in a candy store. A little bit. So um, thank you, and uh, we're going to keep going. These are these are the, the last tune, and and this next tune are from uh, Herb's record Rise, which I think came out in 1978. So um, this is Rotation. Thank you. 
So for a lot of us, um, it's been a long time since we've been able to play a gig safely. Uh, and it's, this is, for m myself personally, it's been so wonderful because I kind of forgot what it felt like to like trust other musicians. And uh, so it's just putting this stuff together. I was so worried. And then uh, w w when we started rehearsing, it was like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. Everyone, everyone's really good. So um, yeah, thank you to everybody. Uh, we're going to have Leslie sing uh, Human Nature, Herb's Arrangement of Human Nature. So uh, here it is.
Ashley Buchelman. Thank you. This, uh, this next tune we're going to do is, is the, the newest, one of the, the later things that Herb recorded. And um, uh, when they, they, they bought Charlie Chaplin's office space, his, his area, his, I guess, kind of rehearsal area, and turned it into the recording studio for A&M Records in the 60s, 70s. And uh, so this is a Charlie Chaplin tune. It's called Smile.
It's Paul Bedell on the strings and piano and synth and later harpsichord and also other string sounds and also clavichord and Paul Bedell. So uh, give a, a really special th shout out to uh, my good friend Joe Clark, who helped me with some of those string voicings that were on the record. So thank you, Joe. Now we get to bring up James Davis. James Davis to also be Herb. But so 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 Herb Alpert was like very very. Uh, like the master of double tracking the trumpet. And um, so I thought instantly when we were doing this project, there's no one I would rather pretend to double track and, and play in unison with than James Davis. So here's James Davis.
That's Rich Stitzel on the drums. Rich Stitzel. Chris Baker. We'll talk about Chris Baker in a little bit. You'll have to stick around to find out the depth of Chris Baker. This, this next tune is a special one. Um, uh, when Lou called me to, to put this together, uh, I started brainstorming some tunes, and we kind of went back and forth. And this was the one that he thought would be really wonderful. And uh, I have to tell you, when I was transcribing this, I, I, I have a very little uh, child. And, and so I had to, I did all these transcriptions at 5 in the morning. 4.30 to 6 is kind of my window to get work done. Um, and, and at like 6 o'clock, I came out of my little office doing a nice happy dance. So this is a Happy Hannah. The, the dance accompanied the music, but it doesn't work with the music.
the ensemble now grows. This is a uh, this is a, this 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 is a, a, an arrangement by uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who, uh, for those of you keeping score at home, uh, are responsible largely largely responsible for Morris Day and the time and a lot of their hits. So uh, we're going back to that era with our uh, disco string section. Yes. Here it is. This is Diamonds and our very own Janet Jackson. <laughs> In my dreams.
Diamonds. Diamonds. Uh, okay, so so now we have come to the the uh, perhaps one of the most important parts of the show tonight, and this is uh, very important. If you are in this room, if you are in, let's say, your living room or uh, your k kitchen or wherever you choose to watch these shows, um, any room, maybe in the bath, it's okay. It's okay. It's dangerous, but it's okay. Um, but so, so, so we need everyone to clap. Um, there's there's some hand claps on this tune. So everybody, um, I have a chart. Uh, it says clapping choir on the top, so you know it's for clapping. So uh, those of you interested, we have the chart over here. We need people. So uh, uh, please come. Anyone? Chris? Uh, and for those of you at home, the part is quite difficult. It's uh, and four and one. And four and one is what you're going to do. Uh, Leslie will also be doing it to guide you, and we have our clapping choir. I hope they're ready. This is uh, this is this is uh, this is called "Behind the Rain," and it will close out our first set. And for those of you, I mean, all the Tijuana brass stuff is in the second set, so that's that's uh, that's important. Here it is. This is. Behind the rain.
That's Mike Pinto on the guitar, the face-melting guitar, Larry Kohut on the bass, Chris Baker on the percussion, Leslie Buchelman vocals, Paul Bedell on keyboards, James Davis, Anthony Bruno, Luke Malevich, the happy, happy horns. We're going to take a short break, uh, and then we're going to play a, a whole bunch more hits. So that, that, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty much it for this set right now, ladies and gentlemen. But it's that time of the night. It's this fancy music. So break out those fancy bank apps and take care of the band. Please be fancy. Please be generous. Please be cool and kind. Support the band. Support the artist. If you like what you see in here, you can maybe I'll stand this way. There, that's better. Uh, you can support Fulton Street Collective if you wish. All right, we're going to take a short, short break. See you in about 10 minutes. Stick around.
every squeeze makes it a little bit bigger. Something like that. We're back. Thank you very much for sticking around. Um, before we get into the music, I want to give a huge, huge, huge heartfelt thank you to Chris Anderson and everyone at this incredible venue. Um, Chris has done, I think, a thousand shows since the pandemic locked I'm, I'm bad with numbers, but at, at least a thousand. And, uh, and that's not just musicians, but artists visual artists. Also, Chris, uh, is, you know, he's alive because of this. So it's, uh, it's, it's really been special. It's been the only reason in the last year that I have actually shaved um, and worn a jacket. And that is pretty special in itself. So um, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. And, and the crew. I mean, everybody. Thank you. So we're going to play this music, and I feel like uh, many people either, I would bet there's a fair number of people that were conceived to a lot of these tunes. So, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty special. And um, unrelated, this first tune is dedicated to my daughter, who is, <laughs> she dances every time, every, it's like, it's like a, a, she's like a robot. You put this on and she just like stands up and starts dancing. So this is a taste of honey. Here we are. Uh.
So this next tune, uh, is there's a, there's a little bit of backstory. Um, uh, I have a very, very good friend who's here tonight. His name is Ryan Schultz. And Ryan Schultz, if you don't know him, is the worst best friend you could ever possibly have because um, Ryan has cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of hours uh, spent in record stores and on websites like late at night looking at descriptions of vintage tubes. Um, and and so on. Uh, <laughs> and and one of the one of the things I I I, I love James Bond. I it's a little guilty pleasure. Um, I, I, if I could do a gig of just James Bond music and Godzilla music, I would be very very happy. And uh, so uh, Ryan turned me on to this record that's Peter Sellers' uh, Casino Royale. The, the, the soundtrack for that, that movie, and the, the movie is super out, so uh, go watch it, it's hilarious. Um, but the music is all by Burt Baccarat, and the album is incredibly recorded. It, it has to do with tape saturation and all kinds of nerdy things that only Ryan understands. Um, but it's a wonderful, wonderful LP to get to like crank your stereo up. And so we're doing two tunes from that, and this, uh, the original reason that I do the gig uh, for this tune, this is Dusty Springfield's Burt Baccarat's The Look of Love. The look of love is in your eyes, a look, your smile. Just to love you now that I have found you, you've got the look of love. It's on your face, a look that time can't erase. Be my Let's take a lover's vow, then seal it with a kiss. I can hardly wait to hold you, feel my arms around you. How long I have waited, waited just to love you now.
Thank you. That's Anthony Bruno on the uh, tenor saxophone. Anthony Bruno. Who I've been playing with for longer than almost half of my life. And I'm very old. <laughs> Where do we meet? <laughs> Main Street, USA, Disneyland. That's where we met. <laughs> There are photos. There are photos. I'm wearing sweatbands, wristbands for sweat tracksuits. This is whipped cream. Whipped cream. This next tune is by the very famous, maybe the most famous Belgian jazz musician, Toots Thielemann. It's called Lady Fingers. Thank you. 
this is uh, this is this whole night is a celebration of Herb Albert's um, career, uh, incredible career, and uh, his uh, 86th birthday, 86th birthday, and uh, it was the brainchild of our visual artist Lou Achenbach over there. So please put your hands together for his amazing work. Support him. He got me this shirt, which is awesome. Thanks, Lou. Thanks. I had to wear it for the second set. Uh, here, this is the uh, this is the theme from Casino Royale, and uh, I I read that the that Burt Baccarat had written this, and they recorded it all in London, and had the score. And uh, Herb was in New York, and they Burt called Herb, and uh, it became kind of a Tijuana Brass feature. So. Here is the theme from Casino Royale. that the first time I heard this song was on The Simpsons. It's called Spanish Flea.
I want to take a second and introduce you to the members of the band once again on piano and keyboards and all kinds of sounds, Paul Vidal. Yeah. And it's, it's sometimes hard to hear him over that shirt. <laughs> on basses, Larry Kohut. Larry Kohut. He's playing all the different Fender basses to be stylistically and historically accurate tonight, so we appreciate that. <laughs> On the guitar, Mike Pinto. Yes. <laughs> Melting faces and hearts. <laughs> On, the, On the drums. You like that? I, I worked on that. Yeah. On the drums, Rich Stitzel. My partner in trumpet crime, James Davis. <laughs> the love sax master, Anthony Bruno. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't ask Luke if that's a real bow tie. <laughs> yeah. On trombone, Luke Malevich. And now we need to talk about Chris Baker. Uh, so Chris worked very, very hard to find uh, the, the most appropriate um, like historical instrument that we could get. On top of like getting a marimba and a vibraphone, which is no easy feat, number one. Number two, on a jazz gig, never happens. Number three, moving them took many vehicles and many hours, and I had blood all over my hands, and Chris did too, so okay, that's a big deal. However, we needed this one piece to make the night really come together, and uh, I put out a, a like cry for help, a public cry for help on Facebook, which uh, only resulted in people making fun of me <laughs> and not helping me. So I learned Facebook is not a good place to ask for help when you need serious help. And uh, Chris then found uh, 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 the, the listing where this was uh, listed and then read all of the reviews to make sure that it was going to work for us. And, and uh, one of the reviews specifically said, this is what you need if you're looking for that Tijuana taxi sound. And so before I could say hot dog, he had already purchased it. And thank you, Jeff Bezos, it showed up the next day. So on percussion and taxi horn, Chris Baker. And this is our last tune. In, oh, and Leslie Buchelman on all of the vocals. She's just been lounging on the couch. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I can only hear out of one ear now. <laughs> and to Lou and Chris and Harvey and Jose and everybody who runs this whole thing, thank you so much for everything that you do. And uh, yeah, here it is. Tijuana Taxi. Happy birthday, Herb Alpert. Thank you, everybody. Here we are.
All right, let's give it up for the crew. Chad McCullough Group. I'd name all the members of the band, but it just takes too much time. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, it's that time of night where you could please be generous and kind and support the band, support the artists. If you like what you see in here, you can donate to Fulton Street Collective. It's all there right in front of you. Take out those fancy bank apps on your phone, which is probably what you're watching the show on. Uh, we're back here tomorrow night with the Sam Pilnick Quintet. Same station, same channel. Uh, this is very much a collaborative effort. There are people behind the scenes that make this whole machine work and roll. Uh, Kenny Claymeyer is on sound tonight. Yeah. Harvey Tillis on still photography. Yeah. Susan Grubb, Den Mom. Yeah. And on video, the anchor of the crew here at Fulton Street Collective, Jose Valle. Yeah. Uh, that is it for tonight. You can also subscribe to our channel uh, for free which is what you're watching on right now. Just click on that subscribe thing. Easy, peasy, for free. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night. Same station, same channel. Until then, oh my gosh, I see the brush is going and what am I talking about? The most important man, the man of the hour, the man who put this all together, his brainchild, Lewis Ackenbach, paints, brushes, canvas. Uh, <laughs> I also want to give a big shout out to, uh, sorry I'm rambling here, but I, I say this all the time when I bring them up. When the pandemic hit, a lot of arts organizations sat on the sidelines and did nothing. And WDCB really got involved and reached out to us and a lot of other musicians and venues and said, hey, what do you need? Let's, let's get, keep the ball rolling. And I cannot say enough about Ken Scott and the crew at WDCB 90.9 FM. <laughs> all right. We're going to have a few cocktails tonight. We will see you tomorrow night. Until then, keep your masks on.